Hi, it's Dan from HumidorGuitars.com again. Uh, one of the questions we seem to see a lot from the new people is, what kind of box should I use to make my guitar with? Is this box okay? Is that box okay? Is it too big? Is it too small? Picking a box is probably the most subjective part of the whole building process. Uh, a box that looks good doesn't necessarily make a good guitar. Um, there's no such thing as too small or too big. It depends on what kind of sound you want. Do you want to make a ukulele as opposed to a fuller size guitar? My personal preference is the I like the bigger boxes, but it's totally up to you how you want to do it. Uh, I could tell you that a certain box probably isn't going to sound very good, and somebody else can come and say that they've made dozens of them with that box and they sound just fine. So it's totally up to you, but these are, again, these are strictly the guidelines I go by, and uh, I just want to show you what I use as considerations for when I make a guitar, and you can go from there and determine uh, which way you want to go, how big a box you want to use, and see what it sounds like. So i got some boxes here I'll show you and uh, you can make your decision there uh, when you pick a box if you want to use it or not. So I'll get these boxes and uh, I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I grabbed a small variety of some boxes that I had laying around. Uh, biggest consideration as far as I'm concerned is the lid. The lid is what's going to make the sound. The lid is what the bridge vibrates against. Uh, you really don't want the lid to be too thick. Um, eighth of an inch, three sixteenths maybe, once you start getting up around a quarter of an inch you may not get the vibrations you want, but again you might, it depends on the box and how they they vibrate. What I use as a rule is if I have a neck and I got just a little short piece of regular one by two I want to know how the neck is going to fit on the box. So like for example I have a Corona cigar box here, it's got a lid that is a little thick and if I hold the, the neck up to where the bottom of the lid comes down, I see that the top of the, what would be the fingerboard, extends maybe an eighth of an inch up above the top of the lid, which is what I want. I don't want it to be flush, I want it to be higher up so I can use a, a bridge that will give me a lower action and I can adjust it from there. What I don't want is if I take this Reserve Especial, this has a very, let me open it up here, it's got a very wide lid on it, and if I take the piece of neck material, hold it up there, you're going to see that it's now an eighth of an inch short. So I need to prove it all the way up to about here in order to make it uh, with a fingerboard that I like. But now I've got a gap, I don't know if you can see it on the bottom down here, that if I put this, slot the, the lid and put this neck in there, there's going to be an opening at the bottom, which you can certainly shim with a scrap piece later if you want, but I prefer to have the bottom of the neck down flush against the, the upper part of the bottom of the box. So in this case, if I had my, my druthers, I would not pick this, initially pick this as a candidate for a, uh, a guitar. The other thing is, it doesn't have a hasp on it. So I would have to run some screws or something to hold the lid down. You can put wood blocks in here and run screws in the bottom. You can run screws down from the top. You can run a piece of wood in there and run a screw in from the side. You can glue it shut. And a bunch of different options. Paper cover boxes, like here's a nice uh, Arturo Fuente. Uh, it has a little thicker, I think this is probably a quarter inch lid. Not to say that it's not good, but it's, it's towards the thick end of my spectrum. Again, I can put a, uh, a neck on here. I have a nice piece of uh, fingerboard that extends above the, the top of the lid. And it'll sit down in here, so when I'm all done, I don't have to add any extra pieces, and I can adjust the action as need be. I use for size is I like to stay in roughly nine inches long and maybe eight inches wide. So like for example this Corona cigar box is nine and a quarter by eight, which is a pretty good size. I generally don't like to go too much smaller than that. These olivas I know make a nice sound because of the thickness of the lid, which is about an eighth inch. This is only eight and eight and a half by seven and three quarters by two, so I know they sound pretty good. That's not a bad size. Um, this pump, black punch box, nine and three quarters by eight by two. Makes a good, good guitar. If you want to use something smaller, you can. There's nothing stopping you from making a uke out of it or another short scale instrument, but uh, you can certainly do that. Again, these are just guidelines, and that's not to say that a smaller box won't make a better uh, guitar. But my, again, my, my concern is that I have a nice neck that fits to the box. Now, if in, in the case where 
your 1x2 is exactly the same size as the top of the lid. You can also take it, add on a fingerboard, which this is just a plain old piece of quarter inch thick uh, poplar that I use. You can actually lay a fingerboard on top of there and have the fingerboard extend over the top as an option too to make the, the neck fit better. One thing I don't like to have is I don't necessarily like to have the curved sides just because it's more trimming to make the neck line up. I prefer a nice flat, even square side. You can do it any way you want. You can use fingerboard if you want. You can not use fingerboard if you want. Uh, all depends on what you want to do. Uh, there is a possibility that if you put a fingerboard on and the fingerboard touches the lid of the box, it could dampen the vibrations a little bit, or it might not. Again, it all depends. But uh, if you wanted to put a fingerboard on there but not glue it to the lid, you could just sit flush on there, but then you got to worry about it vibrating. So there's a whole bunch of factors, so you just kind of get to decide what you want to try. And when all else fails, make one, and if it doesn't work right, build another one. But it's a learning process. And again, you don't have to extend the fingerboard all the way over the top of the lid. You can stop it back here and just make a fingerboard that way. So these are some of the options that you can do. Uh, they all have different uh, capabilities and pros and cons about using them. So that's what I use as a decision for whether I'm not going to use a box or not. And uh, uh, if you find some boxes, try them, see what happens, and uh, good luck with it. And keep on building and keep on playing.